So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at the clip path property in CSS and how you can use it to hide or mask parts of an element or an image on your page. So the clip path property is just a CSS property that you can add to pretty much any element on your page and you provide it with a value and the value that you're giving it is telling uh, the clip path property in CSS uh, what should be hidden. So we can use a variety of functions and values here and the first one we'll look at is circle and you just pass in a value here of how much of the element you want to uh, encapsulate in a circle path. So for example if we say we want 40% of the uh, image that we've got on the page here at the moment uh, to be inside the circle then you can see uh, it does a similar thing when you use border radius as 50% uh, but it's actually clipping the rest of the elements out of view based on this clip path property that we're providing it. And of course, if we go a bit smaller, uh, you can see that we get uh, a larger portion of the image is removed and hidden. Uh, and of course, if we go a little bit higher as well, so 70%, for example, you can see there the edges of the image are just about starting to be clipped. So if we drop that down to 60, for example, you can see we get a lot shallower clipping path and lots of the image still remains on the page. So there are lots of other values that you can pass to the clip path property. Uh, there is an ellipse function, for example. Uh, and interestingly, there's also a, uh, a polygon function as well. And if I just paste in a, an example of that, you can see how we can use that to uh, change uh, the image into a diamond shape. And also, interestingly, we can pass an SVG style path value to it as well. Uh, so if I just copy and paste uh, another value in here, to the clip path property. You can see this path value that we've passed in is following uh, some points as it would do with an SVG element on the page. And we're cutting out the rest of the image and just showing what matches uh, the completed path within our clip path. So you can achieve some interesting effects using the clip path property, but obviously the usual suspects are creating a rounded image uh, from a square one. But have a play with it and see if you can come up with some interesting designs. Uh, but that's it for the clip path property. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.